What is up guys, SPFC here, welcoming you back to Resident Evil Co. Veronica, so here at this uh, Antarctic base, where we crashed last time, and I totally blame Steve, it, it's all his fault, everything's his fault, but anyway, let's uh, check this place out, and I'm slightly injured from that, um, that tyrant fire, aren't I, what am I on? Caution, no, not too bad. Well, we can't go through this door, so let's head over this way. And down this ladder. Now we're just going to ignore those double doors for now. Let's um, let's get the uh, the hanging out. Let's check this out. This room. And it's dark as hell. I can't see shit. Oh man, I can just about make out a dead guy on the floor. There. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a dead guy there. I also think there's quite a lot of blood around. There's another dead guy there, and a dead guy there, and something shining over there, and another dead guy there, hanging off the bed. Oh, there's a nice camera angle. What's this? Borgun powder. Okay. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Landed right on his head. Oh, man. Alright, we've got some uh, hanging ammo there, which is really hard to make out. You can actually light this place up later to make things easier, but since I kind of know where things are, I'll just grab them now. Alright, we've got a first aid spray. That makes three of them now. We've got another box of ammo. Okay. Until we move forward now. Oh, who saw that coming? Now, let's drop these guys. Might as well just let them come towards me. Yeah, he's really struggling there. He's, he seems to think he can walk straight through that cabinet there. It's not going to happen, buddy. You're a zombie, not a ghost. Oh, dear. Oh, two of them now. Don't follow what he's doing. He's dumb. Here they come. Oh, that one's not done yet. Uh, there we go, we're done. Okay. Right now, if I actually look around here, there's another box of ammo on the shelf. I can get in the right place. There we go. Grab those. I think there's something we can read here as well. Yeah, worker's diary. October 30th, when I joined Umbrella Inc., I thought that I would be able to live carefree. Ha <laughs> ha! For the rest of my life, being employed by this huge corporation. It's a jolt I ended up being a driver at this place like this. I asked for a position change, but they completely ignored me. It feels more like a prison. Work is extremely demanding, and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. November 3rd, my hard-earned vacation was cancelled suddenly. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by the facility head, Alfred. That fool doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't even treat us like human beings. November 5th, I heard an interesting story from a guy who's been working here for over 8 years. He must be awfully patient. He says that there is a man who has been confined for over 10 years, locked up in a cell located deep below here. People call him Nosferatu, and they're deathly afraid of him. What an absurd story. November 10th, at midnight I woke up to an ominous growling around a sound that seemed to be coming from deep underground. I'm so pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose anyone would have a hard time maintaining their sanity if they were confined in a place like this. Well, maybe it's not a made-up story. Who knows? Maybe we'll see later. Anyway, I think there's an ink ribbon on the floor in the corner, which I'll leave. And there's a map here as well. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, no, I don't know. I didn't grab the bullets on the bed, did I? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Ooh. Alright. Now I think we can leave. Alright, let's head on these stairs. There's a, uh, there's a save room down here, so... There's also something very annoying down here as well. Whoa, look at this guy. The hell? So I was gonna get stuck to this wall up here. It's done that. Oh, I guess that's done that. It's a giant freaking moth. I hate these things. Or is it? They flap around, so they only take one shot, but they flap around, they hard to hit, but the only thing is 
Um, usually there's a, next time you come through there'll be a few of them. They always respawn and they can poison you and they love to uh, lay eggs on you, which when they hatch they also poison you, so... They're really, really annoying. And I hate them. I really do. There's a very good chance you'll see one of them lay an egg on me. Maybe even more than once. But anyway, here we go. There's a save room and I can hear something banging. What the hell's that? Anyway, we've got some... Uh... Ooh, arrows right there. Let's go ahead and mix these um, explosive arrows there. Actually, let's combine those as well. I've actually got something we can read up here. We've got Alexander's Memo. My father Edward discovered the mother virus in the cooperation with Lord Spencer, who was also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually their study took shape, they named a variation of the mother virus the T-Virus. The camouflage of their research, they established Umbrella Chemical Inc. I majored in biogenetics and have been involved with the top secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at major disadvantage against other researchers, as there is a great competition in the field of T-Virus research. I have disgraced the honourable name of the Astrid family that our great ancestors, Veronica, established. If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite the project to its fullest, without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It will be located in the ter transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in the Antarctic. Within the facility, I'll have a room built. It will be similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. I'll be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, the confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of the beautiful ancestor of the Ashford family, Veronica. Hence the name Resident Evil, Code Veronica, whom I wish to revive so badly. I am confident that the result of my research will be able to... Will... Sorry, I am confident that the research... That the result of my research will be glorious as her name and that the honour of the restored... The honour will be restored to the Ashford family once again. Okay, that's uh, where I've got a herb there actually. There's also an indentation there of the shape of a halberd, which uh, we saw Al uh, Alfred had one of those. Anyway, let's grab this herb. Might as well use it. Let's check out that noise. So actually we can push this uh, bookshelf back. Uh oh. Something in the locker. Ah! Ah, just a damn rat. Man, that was making a real ruckus in there. Must have been headbutting the crap out of that locker. This probably gave yourself brain damage. Anyway, let's see what we got in here. Butler's letter. Sir Alfred, please forgive me, as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first serve your father, Lord Alexander, and have for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 15 years ago, then an accident during an experiment took the life of our dear Alexia. Hmm. So Alexia died? You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age, and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all your family members at once. There was nothing I could do, and I felt powerless. I first thought I should kill myself to apologise. I then realised that it would be insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia in the other world. Scott Harmon Butler. So I guess that explains a little bit um, as to why Alfred is a mental. I've got a switch there, but we press it, nothing happens. So, okay, right, nothing else to do in here. So let's just have a quick rearrange of the old items, because I'm going to need to free up quite a bit of space. Let's put the grenade launcher back, we don't need it. Um, let's also go ahead and put the, uh, the sprays back as well. Yeah, that should do. Let's just uh, quickly reload here. Okay, good to go. Let's go explore some more of this place. Watch out for those damn moths. Ah, here we go. There's more of them now. There's all, there is a blue herb down there to the left, so if they do poison you, that's there. Oh! Own dead incoming! So let's, um... Let's use some arrows just to save the handgun bullets, because I'll burn through those way too quick. Yeah, that's him done. Right. It's a dead end down here, I think. Actually, no, there's a locker here we can actually open with a pit lock. A lock. A pit lock? A lock pick! And we got. Boom! Shotgun shells! Alright, sweet. We haven't seen any of those. I think we haven't got a shotgun, and we're not going to be getting a shotgun. 
Or at least Claire won't be getting a shotgun. Someone will. We got some more guys here. Come on, down you go. Alright, now have a look down here. It's a power switch for the sorter. Push the switch. We ain't got no power. Same goes for this conveyor belt. We got a box on here. There is a notice. Anti-BOW gas handle with care. Okay, well we'll bear all this in mind for a bit later on. Oh! Where's that other zombie gone? Has he gone around here? There he is! Nearly ran straight into him. Alright, let's uh... Ooh. Something's uh, up there. Right, let's head to this room that says weapon. Actually, I think I should have pulled the handgun out right now because there's going to be a zombie right here. Yep, there he is. Let's switch. Down you go. Oh, well, he went down quick. That's more like it. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh! I thought he'd got me then. I thought once again I'd been caught on the reload. I do that way too often. Another, oh, right, let's go ahead and grab this first, which is the mining room key. And there's one more zombie around here. There he is. Let's, uh, let's bow him. And down he goes. Yep, okay, he's done. Right, let's have a look at this zombie here. He's got something. The detonator. Alright, let me look at this uh, locker right here. Explosives are set, but the detonator is missing. Well, we just picked it up. Let's slap it on there. The explosive is heat sensitive. Hmm, well, maybe we had the lighter, which we hadn't given away, which is now a hell of a long way off. Maybe we'll be able to do something with that, but... Again, someone else will be able to benefit off that, so you want to stick it on there. Actually, we have a look down here. Find a new weapon. We got an assault rifle. Sweet. Just take up two slots, though. Anyway, is there anything else? I missed anything like a herb or... No, I think that's it. Yep, okay, we're done. Alright. Let's head back, back out. Alright, back down. Actually, let me just check, uh... Yeah, okay, dead end. Right, let's go into this, uh... Hold on a minute, do you know what I want to do? Let's get these explosive arrows in there, okay. Go into the B.O.W. room. I don't like the B.O.W. room. Because you can hear that, and that only means one thing in Resident Evil. Where are they? Come on out! Let's just get this over with. Come on! Oh, I know they're waiting for me to go to them, are they? Can you guess where it is from the noise? <laughs> oh, yeah, Ow! Oh! Yeah, friggin' spiders! Oh man, I guess these ones don't freak me out quite as much as the, um, the big tarantula type ones in the other games, but I still hate them. I still have got eight legs, they still freak me out. But yeah, the bow arrows, the explosive arrows, sorry, put them down pretty quick. Watch out, they can poison you. Did I get poisoned? No, I didn't, but there was a blue herb right there. Which I guess I'll leave now, because... Alright, what's this we got here? We got a barcode sticker, okay. It's an unusual item for Evil, but there's a spider up on this... It's on the floor below. It can still spit at you, so watch out. Also got some uh, hanging ammo on here. Let's take that. Right, just quickly before we leave, actually. We'll have a look over here. Get these bow arrows. These, and, uh, there seems to be some be as part of the sorter. The belt conveyor is broken. There's a gap. Right, we'll bear that in mind. Let's head out. God damn, I hate spiders. I really do. If actually reminds me of something that happened uh, 
a couple of months ago. Oh god, I've still got the uh, things. Yeah, I was lying there in the middle of the night watching some TV in bed and uh, all of a sudden I felt something on my arm. And I looked down and it was a fucking huge spider and I... I, I'm definitely afraid of spiders, and I, I nearly shit myself. I went, I was like, Ugh! I recoiled in horror, and I sort of went backwards. I fell off the bed. I could have broke my neck. It friggin' hurt, but uh, I had to, um, I had to beat the crap out of the spider. Friggin' hate them. Could have been worse. Could have woke up and it were on my face. That, would... <laughs> oh god. Okay, that's enough talking about him. I don't want to think about it. That's that's enough. Oh god. Right. Let's. We're gonna put this barcode sticker on this box right here. Which we'll uh, put to use later. We'll see why. We'll see why. Right. Let's uh, let's go up here. Use this minor broom key we got. We can uh, we can whiz that. Let's go. Uh, let's get the handgun back out. Let's go ahead and combine. Actually, there we go. All right. If we're going around here, right, let's have a look at the go up here first. There's a hole shaped like an octagon. There's a notice. Poison gas, in case of emergency seal off. Okay, that's something you want to bear in mind for later. Let's head back down. Alright, um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You know, I'll, yeah, go through here first. Fuck okay, yeah, right, watch out, these dogs in here. Oh, I don't want to sleep there, actually. And now he's dead. Oh! I sound like the noise they make when they jump! They flanked me! Some herbs in here as well, but I can't need to save the spit. Oh, there's no one asleep right here. There we go. Uh, well, go on, we'll take a herb. Let's combine it. Ah, screw it, we'll take another one. Screw it, we'll take another one as well. There's still one around here, isn't there? There it is. Because knowing me, I'll end up forgetting to come back for him. Not be like a. Oh, won't be good. Okay, there we go. Right now, um, let's go around here. Actually, there's two more herbs there, which I guess I will have to come back for. We've got some uh, box of ammo here as well. Two boxes. All right, hanging ammo's looking healthy again. All right, we go under here. And through here, this machine over here. Pull this ge switch on this generator. All right, we got power. So we can go back round here to where this dog was, or still is, in a pool of blood. The power has been restored. Restore electric power. Yes. And I said, let there be light. There was, and I can see now. Awesome! About goddamn time. All right. Well, now we can do more stuff now since the power's on. Okay. Let's. Um... All right. Yeah, we've done as uh, we've done all the business we need to in here. Let's head back out. Now we can actually uh, power on this. Uh... Right, let's hit this first. It's gonna send that thing off. We uh, we can't do anything with that for now, but uh, we can also s oh we can also send this uh, BOW crate off. There's that uh, thing again. Right now, the um, let's head, yeah, let's head back into this BOW room. Uh, 
But it's been filled with gas. So let's quickly uh, grab this gas mask. And I'll just quickly show you why, because that crate we sent off with a sticker on, yeah, it crashed near. And it's leaked. So I'll be wanting to do that anyway so you can grab that gas mask. Because you're going to need it later. So quickly let's head back out before I die. Okay. Right. Let's, uh, right, I'm going to head, um, back to the save room so we can hit that switch to the locker just before we finish because there's something I want to have a look at. Some pretty cool and pretty horrifying at the same time. So let's uh, quickly pop these uh, herbs back in. Well, I'll put the shotgun shells back in actually as well. So we ain't going to be getting a shotgun. Um, here, let's put the herbs in. Right, let's put them all in. Okay. Actually, I'm also going to put the assault rifle in. going to save it. Alright, let's uh, push this switch. Ooh, it's a secret area. Oh man, this freaked me out as a kid. Check this out. Oh my god, that noise! That's Nosferatu! That's what the, the guy's uh, diary was talking about. It was a true story! This guy been locked down here. My god, that noise he makes! That is freakish! Listen! I'll do it again. Holy shit, what is that thing? Oh god. I don't like it here. Like, I want to grab this plant bot first and let's get out of here. Right, let's see if we can hear him one more time. Ah! No, oh, he sounds deeply disturbed and angry and also in pain at the same time. It's horrific. Right, let's just quickly check this plant pot before we end. If you look at the bottom, there is a key. And it is. The machine room key. Okay, right. Well, you know what? Um, that does it for this time. So on this one here. And, uh... Next time, we shall continue exploring, put this key to use, and uh, see if we can find out what exactly that thing is down there, locked away. Ooh, God. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time.